In this video, we're going to define what a span is. So we'll start by letting s be equal to a set of vectors. Say we have v sub 1, comma, all the way to, uh, say, v sub k. These are vectors, and just for simplicity, we'll assume that they're a subset of Rn. So this is the set of all ordered uh, n-tuples of real numbers. So we say that the set of all linear combinations, linear combinations, of vectors of s, vectors of s, is called the span of s. It's called the span of s. So there's a couple ways um, to denote span of s. Um, you can write uh, sp of s. I, uh, I like span. I like to just spell it. Span of s. You can use brackets. You know, span of s. You know, as long as it's clear to the reader what you're talking about. Um, you can also write span, and then you can have uh, the vectors there. So v1, comma to v sub k. Okay, you can actually. Uh, write down um, what it is. So check this out. We can actually write down what, what it actually is. Watch. This is equal to. So it's the set of all linear combinations of these vectors. So we can write it as alpha 1, v1, plus dot, 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 and then plus alpha k, v sub k, such that alpha 1 dot 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 to alpha sub k are real numbers. So it's the set of all of these uh, linear combinations. I can use a line here instead of two dots for clarity. So that might make it a little bit better. So it's all linear combinations, all linear combinations. Um, these vectors here, uh, sometimes these have a name, sometimes they're called a generating set. So this is a generating set. Generating set for uh, the span of s. So it's a generating set for the span of s. So it generates the entire set. If you look at all linear combinations of these vectors, you get um, the span of s. Let's um, look at some simple examples. So here, here's an example I just thought of like right now. Um, if you take the span kind of an important example later, of the set of vectors 0, 1, comma, 1, 0, you get r squared, right? You get the entire uh, plane. So the span of these two vectors gives you r squared, right? Kind of, kind of a cool thing. So you take all linear combinations of those vectors, you can get any vector uh, that's in this set. For example, say you had 2, 3. That's, that's in r squared. You can write that as a linear combination of these pretty easily. Watch this. You could do 2, 3. Then you can do something silly like this. 2, 0 plus 0, 3. Then you can pull out the 2. So you get 2 times your first vector. Plus, then you pull out the 3, and you get 3 times your next vector. And this is a linear combination of these two vectors. So this is in the span of... Uh, of this set here. Beautiful stuff. So that's a simple, uh, simple example. Let's look at another one. Let's look at, um, this is an example we visited before. Um, let's look at the span of a single vector. Let's look at the span of the vector 1, 2. Right, the span of this vector here. Okay, and this is basically um, the line y equals 2x, right? Because this is the set alpha times the vector 1, 2, such that alpha is a real number. So it's all the multiples of 1, 2. So if you graph the vector 1, 2, let's look at that 
look at that what that looks like. This is 1, 1, 2. This is the vector 1, 2. So if we keep multiplying it by alpha, where alpha is a real number, it, the length of this vector will vary and we'll end up getting um, this line. This is the line y equals 2x. Right, so line y equals 2x. So um, this is another way um, to write the graph of the line y equals 2x. It's a span of a single vector. So the span of a set of vectors is the set of linear combinations of all those vectors. And just keep in mind um, that it goes both ways. So like let's say, this is really important for proofs, um, let's say that you have a span v1 to v sub k. So what does it mean for a vector to be in this set? So whenever you're writing proofs, uh, if, if someone says, okay, x is in the span. So whenever you have x in the span, whenever this happens, um, then you can say, this implies directly that x is a linear combination of these. So x is equal to alpha sub 1, v sub 1, plus dot, 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 plus alpha sub k, v sub k. For some, right, you can't, you can't specify them, you just know they exist. For some, alpha 1 to alpha k. So you can say there exist scalars, there exist real numbers, such that this vector here is a linear combination of these other vectors. Conversely, it goes the other way. So if you have this condition, then this implies that x is in the span. So it goes both ways. So if x is in the span, x is a linear combination of these vectors. If x is a linear combination of these vectors, then x is in the span. So it's important to know um, the definition of span uh, for many of the linear algebra proofs. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is learning um, the study of linear algebra. That's it.